Did you just say Jessmines are getting cuter these days? You know what, sis? Same. You know? <laughs> oh my god, she just... Yes. Hello, everyone. Welcome. It's Fifi. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, thank you for being here. If you're here again, thank you for being here again. We are going to be doing something very, 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 very exciting. If you haven't watched my previous video about my Halloween reads, I read one of my favorite books ever, 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 ever. It just blew my socks off. I love this book so much and I just read it last month. So it is Smaller and Smaller Circles by F.H. Batakan. Super quick synopsis, it's about two Jesuit priests who are also forensic anthropologists and they're kind of consultants of the Philippine NBI and they are investigating a serial killing murder or like a series of murders by a serial killer. I don't know if it's because I'm a Filipino and the setting of the story is just so within reach for me and the truths behind the bureaucracy of the Philippine justice system is just so fresh. It's so present to this day and this was written in 2015. And also this is a type of book where you can just vividly imagine the scenes and the conversations happening, the characters in the story. It's just one big movie inside your head. But luckily enough, there is an actual movie. In 2017, TBA Studios released Smaller and Smaller Circles, the movie starring Noni Buen Camino and Sid Lucero as Father Gus and Father Jerome. And oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I never knew. I never knew there was a movie. When I started reading the book, I did not know a movie existed until half. TBA, the TBA Studios announced that they were releasing the film on Netflix. This was released in 2017, but they just like partnered with Netflix and released the film on Netflix and And for full honest disclosure, I did already attempt to watch this like two weeks ago after I finished the book. I watched until about like 15 minutes of the movie and I stopped because I realized I wanted to make this video. Yeah, let's go. Let's just do it. Also, I chose such a creepy time to be watching <laughs> this movie. It is 12.01. You can't see that. It is 12.01, guys. And I'm easily spooked. I don't watch scary movies. This has kind of a thrillery kind of creepy vibe to it. <laughs> <laughs> if you see someone in the background, my sister is there. Like, that's her bed. So, you know, I can't really make her go away. I also don't want to watch on my bed because I probably will get scared. See, like, ito pa lang. It's so scary na. <gasps> Dude! Oh my god! Like, I'm so scared! Oh, fun fact! This guy on the screen, like, I think he, he plays the news reporter or like the cameraman, was my theater teacher back when I was in high school, Sir Bong! I was so happy when I saw him. Yeah, he was both of our teachers when we were in high school. Hi, Sir Bong! If you're watching this, he's probably not watching this, but Sir Bong, we love you. He's, he's amazing. Oh my god, okay, just saying, when I first saw this, like, this shot, I was wondering, like, because obviously, they're from Ateneo, because it's a Jesuit, like, they're Jesuits, and in the book, they never explicitly said that it was an Ateneo, but they said they're both Jesuits, they're teachers, and the university that they're in is in Katipuran, so, obviously, where else? Oh, Sid Lucero's so foggy. He's so cute. I shouldn't have a crush on him because he's a playing a priest, but I really have a crush on him. Ah! Father God! I see you've helped yourself. <laughs> okay, okay, right off the bat, they're my two favorite characters in... Can I say this? This is a bold statement. In the history of... ever? Like... Are they? Are they my favorite characters ever? I love them so much. The banter, the chemistry. Ah! 
Bukas sa lipad mo, di ba? Sa Boston? Chicago. Chicago. Aha. Ah, Chicago. Look. There's bad that. Oh, no, he's... Saan He's so cute! Hmm? I, I was just... checking on something. Uman, Senor Ramirez, no? Mm. Not Touchy funny. Touchy subject. Not funny, Father Jerome. Well, let me guess, that's for the again. It's not closed and never will be. Not unless Monsignor Ramirez would be made to answer for what he's done. Because you've been doing this what? You've been chasing him through the system for about what? Ten years? The cardinal just moves him around. They talk exactly like they did in my head. Malakas si Ramirez kasi malalakas si mga kaibigan niya. Tama. Kasi yung kids pa, hindi naman sila magsasalita, takot-takot sila eh. Besides, they know na wala silang laban. Wala silang laban dahil inabando na natin sila. May ako kalaban dito, Gus. I know, I'm sorry. It's just, I, I have to do something. I, I can't... Oh my God, it's Ben Arsinas. The thing about the casting with Director Lastimosa, Ben Rocco is a great actor. I was I was kind of picturing Director Lastimosa to be older than Father Gus, so... This doesn't seem to be the work of someone drunk or under the influence. The killer seems to be in full control here. Oh, the Father Gus the victims, is so smart. They're too similar. Pwede, isang suspect. Similar staging, similar methods of disposal. Father Science, you've been watching too many Hollywood movies. Ah! Dapat na natin walang serial killer dito sa Pilipinas. My God, ben. shut up! Okay, this guy is so annoying. He's doing really well. Ben is the most annoying person in the books. Hindi ko masigmurang tingnan si Nanay habang naglalaba. Oh my god, boy, don't go out of the Oh my god. <sighs> okay, I see what they're doing. We can hear the narration of the killer at the start palang. Like at the start of the movie we heard him. He was the one narrating. I see what they're doing. I see what they're trying to like how they're trying to mesh the story. Oh my god, it's a dead body. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe you're right. No, hold on. Just coffee you there if you want. Oh my god, they didn't they didn't include my favorite line in the book. My favorite line was in this scene, um, Father Gross was playing a lot of rock songs, like really loud. And when Jerome said we're too old for this, Father Gus said he said, Don't knock it. It's the closest either of us will ever get to sex. That was so funny to me. I don't know, like oh my god, priest jokes are Same as imports. Yep. Heart genitalia removed, face peeled oh, off. Oh, man! Horizontal. One glass of blade worker. See, this is what I love about the two of them. They're so smart and it's so sexy. Like the intellect that is exuding from the both of them. Why did I pause in such a weird place? Why don't we look at the, the days? Yung mga araw na namatay sila. Okay, so... Yep. Feba, no? Uh, second. Second. So... They're so cute. Yeah, so the day before I was Feb 1, so right? I love them so much. Saturday, yeah. Okay, and then for March... March, found... They're like March father and, and son. Hindi ako napapansin pag sa likod ako mupo. Alam ko naman ako yung pinag-uusapan eh. Matalas ang tinga ko ang kanamo. Okay, um, I'm getting va- Oh my god, Ah! You're so scary! You're watching also? I'm getting vibes that they're kind of making it seem like Jerome is a suspect. Because the, the voiceover of the narration in that scene, like you would think, like if I didn't read the book, you would think that he is Interesting. Interesting take. Investigations conducted within the church. To be honest, I kind of imagine the cardinal to be older. You and your viewers 
he was but the church authorities are obliged to report such but, incidents I mean, to really that I always fine. believe there is a clear difference between misconduct and crime okay yes we go there when we a go, priest director. crosses the line into molestation and sexual abuse it becomes a civil matter a law enforcement matter that's Pardon. right cardinal oh no how can the public faith in law enforcement oh be no but they're the is victims getting sick now because they do not feel uh, oh my goodness we'll be right back <laughs> we'll be right back <laughs> why is that funny remnants the doctor Lastimosa is in stable condition, but very weak. The doctor says that the next 48 hours will be crucial. And the family? Well, his wife and children were here earlier. By the way, Father Science, it's admirable how you've decided to help the director <laughs> with his... What? Not even Camila's face! I cannot! Like, can you replay that? You come back later? We really should be here during visiting hours. Of course. By the way, Father Science, it's admirable how you've decided to <gasps> Why are their faces so perfect in this scene? Truly a good career move for you. Truly uh, a good career move for you. We do what we can. <laughs> oh, yes. There are many ways to give witness to the faith. Yes. Your eminence. This is one of my favorite lines in the book also. There are many ways to give witness to faith. Amen. No doubt some ways are more pleasing to the Lord than others. But there are times when our hands are tied. And oh, they're so, so pissed. Or so oh, they're little. so pissed. <gasps> we, sh we should go ahead. Again, again. Sorry. More pleasing to the Lord than others. But there are times when our hands are tied and can only do so much. Or so little. Or we, sh oh. we should go ahead. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> the the oh my God. God. Oh my God. That's the day. Outside. Sorry. Sorry. Another. Oh, I miss school. Oh and my those God. Meals arrive Attorney Arsinas, we urge you to read every detail of the report. We Ask try if to he's going to read everything, a very you know. accurate profile of the killer. This man is erasing the faces of his victims. He's also carving out the organs. Exactly. Hi, Padre Padre. You're going to be a little bit of a little Pinuput, putol ng killer, pati ang kanilang genitals. Go on, Father. As what I the? was saying, it seems we are dealing with a man Oh nga, sinabi mo nga, serial killer. Oh my God! Why are you talking like that? Father, let's just get out of here. We're just wasting our time. Ano naman itong pakilam eh? All he cares about is getting his face on television. Oh! oh! Kung basahin nyo kasi yung report, ang kailangan natin hanapin lalaki is about 5'5". Five, five. Naniniwala kami Jerome natin. Jerome has a temper. Mahina, kung kaya't wala siyang kumpiyansa, kung may kakayahang lumaban pa o pumalag yung biktima. Naniniwala din kami na malaki yung posibilidad na kilala siya ng mga pinapatay niya. I want you to meet uh, my friend, uh, Father Jerome Lucero. Uh, Jerome, this is uh, Joanna Bonifacio. She's a former student from the <laughs> Institute of Paleontology, you may. Uh, oh, Paris. Institute. Paleontology, you mean? Si Leo, ka trabaho. Kamusta? Leo? Pleasure to meet you, Father Jerome. Oh. Just what's are getting cuter these days. <laughs> this one can barely oh! ward off those. Did you just say. Oh, did you just. Did you just say. Sorry, I have to. Father Jerome. Just what's are getting cuter these days. <laughs> Joanna's got a first-rate mind, <laughs> but she can be a real pest. One day she interviewed me about celibacy in the church. She said it was uh, unrealistic. No, no, it was, uh, it was, uh, the word she used was unnatural. <laughs> well, what did you say? I said she should try it first. <laughs> celibacy, what did she say? I don't remember. She told you to try sex, didn't she? 
I won't even dignify that with an answer. <laughs> oh, she's right though. It's unnatural. One day when you're Pope. That would be the day. Uh, what is this conversation? Attorney, since you concluded this case so well, you must be anxious to ensure that the arrest was correct. Teka, kailangan niyo ba ng translator sa loob? Atin, pasensya na hindi atin ista yung suspect natin eh. Oh my God! Okay, so, so it's really like, they really put the setting that they're Atenistas, they're Atenea teachers. Paano mo pinapatay ang mga bata? Cuchillo. Anong klaseng kuchillo? Room. Maliit. Time's up, you're done! Carding, alam mo ba kung gaano kaseryoso itong ginagawa mong pag-aami? Kaya din kahit anong sabihin nila sa'yo. Posibleng sentensyaan ka ng death penalty. Opo. <gasps> oh my God! It's Gonzaga building in Ateneo! Oh my God! You know... I don't know why I'm trying to like over my own school. You said so That's yourself. not normal. Oh my God, they look so good! If I see them, they look so good. Oh my god, this frame. They look immaculate. Mrs. Urutia, may I introduce Father Science? And okay, she looks really Father annoying because she was really annoying in the book. So, you're the one who's been giving Monsignor Ramirez so much trouble. Oh. I am the chairperson of Kandunga Ni Cristo. Yes, I am aware of that. I hope that you're aware of the problems Monsignor Ramirez is causing within your child. <laughs> you know, Mrs. Urutia, the children are suffering. A man of God doesn't try to drag his brothers down when he's doing so much to help others. Oh, she is annoying. A man of God she's great. does not help himself by pretending to help others, Mrs. Urutia. You get, oh my god, I'm Jerome. I'm literally just Jerome. Actually, no, I'm Gus. What I'm goes honestly, around I keep saying I'm Jerome in situations, but I'm honestly Gus. I'm an Aries moon. Oh my god, boy. Oh no! Oh my god, the score is perfect because it is scaring me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, that looks so real. Oh my god. Oh, Ikaw. Oh, Ikaw. This happened under your watch. Director Mapa. Exactly. If there are any administrative cases to be filed, your name will be on top of that list. Oh. Phil, let's not forget that there are certain people who will be displeased if I'm dragged into this mess. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. See, you know what makes this book so relevant is this is actually what goes on in real life here in the Philippines. Nepotism. This is it. This is it, guys. It's Crazy. Ganong klase ng laro ang gusto mo? Sige, game. Ooh. Let's call our mutual friend in Malacanã. Oh. Sabi natin sa oh. kanya ang lahat how Ben acted, not only with your approval, but also with your instruction. Tell oh, him. So angry. Another child is dead because you fucked up. Oh, oh. Director last time also dropping the f bomb. Oh. Best. You belong in the coffin. That's my seat you're occupying. Don't you forget that. You may leave now, Philip. Not finished. Yes, you are. Jake. <sighs> oh. 
That's good. That's that's good. We need access to the clinic's dental records. For what? Uh, hindi pa po kasi na-identify yung ibang mga biktima. Uh, Niniwala kami that the dental records might help. We, we just want to understand how how it works at the mobile clinic. Madras ka ba doon? Um, tuwing Sabado po, nandun po kami ni Dr. Alice. Uh, mga nurses po, pati na ang dental assistant. Father, ba't niyo kinikwestiyon si Gino? Sa tingin niyo ba, involved siya? Ah, hindi naman ho sa ganun, Dr. We just want to clarify some things. When we were last year, uh, Meron nagdala ng dental records, ba? yung nakalimot mag-file. Apo. Uh, sino siya? Ah, si Alex po. Uh, Dr. Alex Carlos. Siya po yung pumapalit sa akin kapag uh, off-duty ako. May ibang dentista? Part-time lang siya at meron siyang sariling practice sa Quezon City. Oh my God! Yes! Uh, may hinahanap ka? Oh, kailangan mo ba ng tulong? Ano pong hinahanap mo? Ay, ano ba yan? Aray! Uy! Wow! Dude! Alex! This song is so scary. Karating lang namin. Oh, so they didn't get him. Natin yung bidensya. This dude is so scary. Oh my god. But oh my god. It'll slow me down. Besides, we're not somebody. How would you know that? Oh, so parang they're they're making it na na the Alex is asking for Father Gus specifically. I don't remember this hap. Ah, did this happen in the book? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It didn't happen. Wait, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so sorry. I'm so scared. Oh my god! 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 I don't want to know. I don't want to I don't want to listen. 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 I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. Alex. Uh. Ako si. Sign. Salamat. Father, may ayayain yung mga kasal. Asa ko. Lahong kaya. Okay lang. Ano ba nagintay sa akin? Pupunta ba ako sa impyerno? Hindi ko masasagot yan eh. Hindi natin alam ang hangga na lang. Kapatan ah! ng Diyos. Oh my! Oh my God! Tapos na si Anata. Ah, don't do that! Oh my God. Don't cry! It's true. For 
geklaut. Bang kon na bida si ano Alex. Magtiwala ka sa akin. Sabi kita pa baba yan. Oh my god! 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 Whoa! So, wait! Okay, he's not dead. Okay, he's not dead. He's not dead. <laughs> Whew. Hey. Oh my god. Where's the Alex? Stab wounds. Self-inflicted. Then it was all for nothing, Jerome. Okay, so he died through suicide. That's not what happened in the book. Pinaghuhubad po kami, Grospe. Lahat. Lahat tanggal. Oh my God. Tapos, tapos ginagawa niya na sa amin yung mga gusto niyang gawin. Minsan, hindi pa nga yun nakukontento eh. Minsan, may mga pinapagawa pa siya. Sa amin, sa isa't isa, si Alex, father. Si Alex yung pinakakawawa sa lahat. Si Alex yung paborito ni Gorospe. Awang-awa ho ako kay Alex nun. Gusto ko ho siyang tulungan. Father, wala akong ginawa. May breakfast ka Actually, father, I'm here for... Something else. That son of a bitch Solano is alive, and I think I know where he is. Who's Solano? Because of my time. Okay. Um Wow. Um where do I even begin? I think most of the of the movie stay pretty true to the book. They did change some parts. Number 1, they didn't use Romel. Was that his name? The son of the Carinderia. He was a really shady character in the book. I think it's because they were trying to angle it towards Father Jerome or Sid Lucero, trying to make him the suspicious character because they there were really there were a lot of suspicious camera angles towards him. That's that, which was fine. I'm I'm okay with like, I was okay with that. Another one is the timeline of events. In the book, they revealed about the whole molestation issue before the confrontation with Alex at the end. But in the movie, it was the other way around. So it was the confrontation with Alex first, and then they revealed what happened to him. Like, why he killed those children, his past, you know, yung past with the PE teacher. I guess right now, I would say I like the execution in the book better because the build up towards the confrontation with Alex in the end made it more meaningful. I kind of hope that they stuck with the timeline of the book because the build up to Loy was kind of strange, I guess. Well, right now, like at first impression, you know, after watching the movie, maybe if I think about it, you know, maybe it'll grow on me if I watch it again. I kind of want to watch it again. And they also changed something. At the end of the book, Father Gus was able to get Alex to surrender to the police and he promised him help. Someone, a police, like a rogue police, shot Alex. That's how Alex died. But in the movie, we see Alex killed himself, stabbed himself. 
that was a big change. Quite a big change because there was a contribution to the plot by the police. Eh? That rogue bullet symbolized a lot in the book about how criminals or suspected criminals aren't given the proper justice. They aren't given a voice. They aren't given trial. The arrangement of the plot really affected my opinion on the movie because it started out really, really strong, really by the book. And there's not really much you can do because with regards to the book, the plot is pretty straightforward. When I was thinking about how this could have been a movie, it all goes down to the actors who will execute the characters because the characters have really distinct and specific personalities. That's how I thought it would make it a good movie if the actors were good. But um, it seems like TBA Studios or the like, directors and the writers decided to go a different route from the book when it came to the sequencing of events. To be honest, I really just wish they stuck with the original. The symbolism is different. Like The message is different when Alex chooses to kill himself instead. I guess, you know, they wanted, this time, they wanted to highlight the trauma of the victim and the consequences of not speaking up for being a witness to that kind of abuse with regards to Alex's classmates who were also victims. I guess that's what they were focusing on. Like the, the writers were focusing their message on trauma and the mental health implications of you know that kind of serious, serious, severe incident and crime and just dehumanization of a teacher towards their students. So I guess that was the focus. But what made the book so good kasi, in the first place was it touched so many points. So it touched on mental health, on religion, social injustice, poverty, corruption, bureaucracy. It was a cohesive type of execution by F.H. Patakan. It wasn't like different issues that were just put in one book. No, it was how these different problems weave together through society and how these series of events affect different things. So Alex was molested as a child severely. He grew up to become a dentist but then it triggered something in him and he started killing these children as a form of revenge towards his PE teacher and towards his classmates who did it, who we feel like he did it to help him. But it's not a separate issue from the fact that the police aren't able to identify the killer because they don't believe in serial killers. They overlook these things in the poverty sector or in the lower class sector of society. As I expected, the people who carried it um, or the thing that carried it the most are the actors. So mostly Nani Ban Camino, Sid Lucero, Madeline Humphreys. Yeah, as Joanna Bonifacio, she was also really good. Of course, we have Gladys Reyes, Ben Bill Rocco, Christopher De Leon. I'm definitely gonna watch it again and give a second opinion because of course this is just right off the bat my first impressions to my first viewing of the movie. So if I watch it again and again and again, I might develop different opinions. I'll update you guys. Maybe I'll post on my Instagram stories. So yeah. Ah, there we have Smaller and Smaller Circles. This is one of my favorite books of all time and I really enjoyed this movie and I highly highly recommend this book for you to read. Yeah, we're done. We're done. It is 2.27. I'm sleepy. I am going to bed. I hope you guys have a great day great weekend. Thank you so much for tuning by my channel guys. Please let me know if you've seen this movie and your opinions on the movie. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you Have you read the book? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Um, let me know in the comments below. DM me on Instagram or on Goodreads and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Good night. Good morning. Good afternoon. Mwah.